The Society of Women Engineers SWE, founded in 1950, is a not-for-profit educational and service organization in the United States. SWE has over 37,000 members in nearly 100 professional sections and 300 student sections throughout the United States. Topic: <laughs> Antecedents. The SWE archives contain a series of letters from the L.C. Eves papers bequeathed to the Society, which document how in 1919, a group of women at the University of Colorado attempted to organize a women's engineering society. This group included Lou Alter Melton, Hilda Counts and L.C. Eves. These young women wrote letters to engineering schools across the nation, asking for information on women engineering students and graduates. They found 63 women engineering students at 20 universities, 43 of those at the University of Michigan alone. From a letter that Hazel Quick wrote to Hilda Counts, we know that the Michigan women had organized a group in 1914, called the T-Square Society, although no one was sure even then if it was a business, honorary, or social organization. Many negative responses were received from schools that did not admit women into their engineering programs. From the University of North Carolina, Thorndike Saville, Associate Professor of Sanitary Engineering wrote, I would state that we have not now, have never had, and do not expect to have in the near future, any women students registered in our engineering department. Some responses were supportive of women in engineering, but not of a separate society. Many of the women contacted as a result of the inquiries wrote about their support for such an organization. Besides the Hazel Quick letter from Michigan, there was a reply from Alice Goff, expressing her support of the idea of a Society for Women in Engineering and Architecture. Undoubtedly an organization of such a nature would be of great benefit to all members, especially to those just entering the profession. History Though the Society of Women Engineers did not become a formal organization until 1950, its origins are in the late 1940s when shortages of men due to World War II provided the new opportunities for women to pursue employment in engineering. Female student groups at Drexel Institute of Technology in Philadelphia, Cooper Union and City College of New York in New York City, began forming local meetings and networking activities. On the weekend of May 27-28, 1950, about 50 women representing the four original districts of the Society of Women Engineers, New York City, Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., and Boston, met for the first national meeting at the Cooper Union's Green Engineering Camp in northern New Jersey. During this first meeting, the Society elected the first president of SWE, Dr. Beatrice A. Hicks. The first official annual meeting was held in 1951, in New York City, it wasn't until the 1960s after Russia launched Sputnik and interest in technological research and development intensified that many engineering schools began admitting women. Membership in SWE doubled to 1,200 and SWE moved its headquarters to the United Engineering Center in New York City. After World War II women were discouraged from entering into engineering. During the war, their efforts were seen as a patriotic duty. After the war, women in engineering were seen as an abnormality. Over the next decade, an increasing number of young women chose engineering as a profession, but few were able to rise to management level positions. SWE inaugurated a series of conferences dubbed the Henneke Conferences after the meeting site in New Hampshire on the status of women in engineering and in 1973, signed an agreement with the National Society of Professional Engineers in hopes of recruiting a larger percentage of working women and students to its ranks. At the same time, SWE increasingly became involved in the spirit and activities of the larger women's movement. In 1972, a number of representatives from women's scientific and technical committees and societies including SWE met to form an alliance and discuss equity for women in science and engineering. This inaugural meeting eventually led to the formation of the Federation of Organizations of Professional Women FOPW. 
In addition, SWE's Council resolved in 1973 to endorse ratification of the Equal Rights Amendment, and a few years later, resolved not to hold national conventions in non-era ratified states. The Equal Rights Amendment was first proposed by Alice Paul in the 1920s, after women gained the right to vote, and still has not been ratified to this day. In 1973, SWE signed an agreement with the National Society of Professional Engineers to recruit more women engineers and students as members. By 1982, the society had swelled to 13,000 graduate and student members spread out in 250 sections across the country. The Council of Section Representatives, which in partnership with an executive committee had governed the society since 1959, had become so large SWE adopted a regionalization plan designed to bring the leadership closer to the membership. Today, SWE has over 17,000 student, graduate, and corporate members, and continues its mission as a 501 non-profit educational service organization. The Society of Women Engineers organization exists today largely because the gender balance in engineering does not proportionally reflect population breakdowns of men and women in the United States. Encouragement of female students and promotion of engineering as a field of study for women is a necessary and fundamental function of the organization. Engineering and related fields are heavily male-dominated, in part because of gender socialization and artificially reinforced gender norms. Theories such as the STEM pipeline seek to understand and balance how different science, math, and engineering fields tend to over- or under-represent different groups of people in this country. Mission. Its mission statement, adopted in 1986, is, "...stimulate women to achieve full potential in careers as engineers and leaders, expand the image of the engineering profession as a positive force in improving the quality of life, demonstrate the value of diversity." Anyone is welcome to join, male or female, of all backgrounds in effort to support diversity within the organization. SWE includes all STEM majors even though it is predominantly engineering based. The Society of Women Engineers, a not for profit organization, awards multiple scholarships each year to women in undergrad and graduate STEM degree programs across the world. About 233 scholarships were awarded for the 2017 school year, amounting to $715,000. SWE's CEO and Executive Director Karen Horting stated that SWE "...could not have such a successful program without our corporate and foundation partners and generous individuals who support our scholarships, and our hope is to continue to grow the program and provide financial resources to those studying for a career in engineering and technology." SWE is also working to provide opportunities to help promote change for women in STEM fields. SWE organizes opportunities to network, further professional development, and recognize all of the accomplishments that women contribute to STEM fields. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Core Values. Integrity Ethical behavior shown by a member in both personal and professional lives. In SWE, integrity is seen as the key to success. Someone who displays integrity is generally able to bring a group, team, or challenge together even if the odds are stacked against them. Inclusive environment The SWE environment works to create a welcoming environment for all members. This allows the members and organization as a whole to benefit from a diversity. Sarah Watsman the FY17 Collegiate Director attributes staying in engineering to her undergraduate chapter of SWE. During her first year of undergrad, senior members of the chapter encouraged her to stay involved. She ran for a student position for her sophomore year. 
Watsman explains, having that encouragement and knowing that I had a leadership position in a really inclusive society of strong, determined engineering women that helped me stay in engineering. <laughs> Mutual support Mutual support focuses on creating networks both personally and professionally. An example of this is Kate Van Dellen, a SWE member since 2004, moved to a different state after graduating college and was able to make connections through the local SWE professional section. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Professional excellence. All SWE members are expected to demonstrate professionalism in their schoolwork and business. Alia Zanella, a SWE chapter president, says attending professional conference is a physical example of professional excellence. Members are always smiling and dressed. Inspiring is what I think of when I think of SWE. Topic: <laughs> Trust. Trust is important in creating a belief that someone is honest and reliable. Without trust between leaders and members it will be difficult to gain confidence in a group's abilities. Topic: Programs. SWE offers support at all levels from K-12 outreach programs and collegiate sections to professional development in the workplace. Programs are in place to help collegiate and professional members interact with their local communities. Conferences The Society of Women Engineers is organized at the local, regional, national, and international levels. SWE hosts annual WE local regional events across the world. These events connect members in all stages of their careers and host similar events to the larger annual conference. SWE hosts one annual conference in a different location each year. Over 11,000 members attend the three-day conference making it the largest event of its kind. The annual conference allows members to network with peers from around the world. This conference includes professional development workshops, inspirational speakers, and a career fair. If an individual or chapter cannot attend a conference in person they have the opportunity to participate virtually by watching a keynote speaker or workshop online. Outreach Every year, SWE holds Gears Day event in universities such as University of Pennsylvania to help high school girls understand and explore more about engineering possibly in their future careers. Different workshops are offered, such as engineering as an environment consultant, biopharmaceutical manufacturing, etc. Students will spend a day with members of the SWE community to explore more about the engineering world. Topic Awards Topic Individual Awards Achievement Award The highest award offered by the national organization is granted annually to a woman engineer for outstanding contributions over a significant period of time in any field of engineering. Suzanne Jenisch's Upward Mobility Award recognizes a woman who has succeeded in rising to a management position within her organization. Recipients must have 20 years of experience and must have influenced creating a better environment for women in the workplace. Resnick Challenger Medal awards an individual who has made a breakthrough in space exploration. Rodney D. Chip Memorial Award is given to a man or company who has made an impact on the advancement of women in engineering. Distinguished Engineering Educator Award recognizes an engineering and educator who has made contributions to the engineering profession. Distinguished New Engineer Award honors those who have shown outstanding characteristics over the first 10 years of their career. 
SWE Fellows Distinguished Service Award honors a member who has actively served a SWE chapter for at least 20 years. Entrepreneur Award is given to a woman who has started her own STEM-related business. Work-Life Balance Award recognizes a person who is instrumental in creating a program to help other employees balance their work and family responsibilities. Emerging Leaders Award an honor for any women engineer whose career has resulted in significant accomplishments. Global Leadership Award goes to a role model who has led an internationally based team. Global Team Leadership Award PRISM Award is given to a woman who has at least 15 years of experience and has created her own path throughout her career. Advocating Women in Engineering Award Spark Award Topic. Collegiate Member and Advisor Awards Outstanding SWE Counselor Award Outstanding SWE Faculty Advisor Award Outstanding Collegiate Member Award Topic. Multicultural Awards, Collegiate Competitions and Section Awards The Boeing Company Multicultural Award Motorola Foundation Multicultural Award Collegiate Poster Competition Collegiate Rapid Fire Competition Team Tech Competition Topic. Mission Awards Topic. Collegiate and professional Best practice Awards and recognition Communication Global Membership retention and engagement Mentoring Outreach Partnership with collegiates, professionals, industry and academia Professional development Public policy SWE Leadership Development and Mentoring SWE Resource Promotion Gold Silver Bronze Topic. Publications In 1951 and only a year after the Society was first established, the SWE began publishing the Journal of the Society of Women Engineers which included both technical articles and society news. In 1954, the journal was superseded by the SWE Newsletter, a magazine format which focused primarily on SWE and industry news. In 1980, it was again renamed, this time to U.S. Woman Engineer. In 1993, the title was changed yet again to SWE and this remains their current periodical title with the subtitle Magazine of the Society of Women Engineers. The fifth volume of SWE was published in 2011 to celebrate the Society's 60th anniversary and to explore SWE's history in more depth using its archives. Topic. Archives. Located at Wayne State University's Walter P. Reuter Library in Detroit, Michigan, USA, the Society's archives were established in 1957 by the Archives Committee, who voluntarily collected and maintained the Society's records. In 1993, SWE designated the Walter P. Reuter Library as the official repository of its historical materials. Located within the Carey C. Shewitt Women's Archive and Research Collection, the Houston area section of the Society of Women Engineers contains correspondence, business and financial records, photographs, and publications of the organization. Topic. See also Engineering Glossary of Engineering California Society of Professional Engineers, the NSPE's California affiliate Engineering Ethics Sources
English, Troy Ella, Society of Women Engineers Publications, PDF. Archived from the original PDF on the 4th of April 2017. Retrieved the 28th of July 2014. SWE History 1. Alabac, Sarah. The First American Women Architects. University of Illinois Press, 2008. ISBN 0-252-03321-3. P. 34. Kindya, Marta Navia. Four Decades of the Society of Women Engineers. Society of Women Engineers, 1990. Asin, B0006E93SA. Topic: External links. Official website.